what's up y'all it is absolutely freezing here at the farm uh the chickens have not been out of the barn for like over a week it's been down in the teens and i think we've had a high of like 28 has been the highest we've had in like the past week and a half uh we've currently got like i don't know about six inches of snow on the ground with a little bit of ice underneath that oh so i figured i'd give you guys an update um there's not really a whole lot going on to be honest uh considering the weather i've been doing a lot of stuff online trying to get some stuff researched trying to figure out for sure uh what kind of chicken tractor we're gonna end up using this spring got a couple different designs that i've been debating between some planning for the gardens uh trying to get seed and everything arranged really the the progress has kind of slowed to a frozen pace see the chickens are in here hanging out the rooster i don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video um he's been having some frostbite on his comb uh because the chicken coop isn't totally draft proof so that's something that i do need to work on kind of put some tarps up and that seems to have helped a little bit i've been dressing the rooster's comb at night with some vaseline it's not getting much worse it's kind of we've kind of kept it at bay with the vaseline so that seems to be working just kind of a slow roll right now things tend to be uh you know slow when it's frozen tell me why it is snowing again we've gotten another three to four inches overnight i cannot farm like this y'all this is ridiculous So the chickens haven't left the barn in like well over a week. They won't even go outside because it's so cold. I mean, it is bitter cold. <clears throat> Tried to do some draft proofing in the coop uh, to try to keep them as warm as possible. We added some straw bedding in with the wood chips. Um, and that's, I mean, they've been doing okay so far. So. That's the best we can do. Uh, so yeah, they, we're gonna just keep giving them water and food every day and they can hang out in the barn. They've got enough space to stretch their legs. So um, unfortunately they don't get the extra nutrients uh, that's provided by the grass and bugs and different things that they can find, uh, you know, outside. But you know, it kind of is what it is. Whenever we have weather like this, it's, you know, we kind of just have to roll with it. So. The chickens get to, you know, coexist in the survival experience with us. So kind of is what it is. All right, well, I'm going to get these guys watered. So since the waterers have been freezing so much, I've just been using these small feeders uh, and giving the chickens a little bit of water at a time because it's just so cold that I, you know, it's, it's hard to manage uh, keeping the water. Excuse me. It's been hard to keep the water from freezing, so that's just been, we just give them a little bit at a time uh, and that's getting them through. We got definitely some warmer weather coming next week, so all of this snow should melt um, and that will be good. But until then, we're stuck with it and we're stuck at the frozen pace, so. So this is the same mulch pile that we got. Same one that we got a while back. Chickens have been picking through it and it's slowly dwindling down. Whew, I'm out of breath. Yeah, I just stirred that up. So that way the chickens will have something to kind of do today, keep them busy, keep them from getting bored and picking on each other because they tend to do that. So I don't know, trying to keep myself sane too. Uh, I've got a lot of projects that I really want to, to be making progress on and 
this weather is not doing it. It's not, it's not making it happen. Uh, so trying to remember what are the, uh, what are the good things about snow? You know, um, snow provides excellent moisture for the ground. Uh, this cold weather, it does kill out a lot of pests. Um, so that is good, you know, that natural cycle. Uh, you know, and it, I mean, it is a part of the natural cycle. It's just unfortunate whenever we get these extreme cold weather um, on top of snow and you're try, trying to get things done. But part of permaculture and, and part of being sustainable and being, you know, earth-minded is that you've got to remember and sometimes you just gotta hang out and observe and wait until the right day. And next week it's supposed to be in the 40s, I think, so uh, that'll probably be the right day. So, you know, these days are also good for getting other chores caught up that are off the farm. Um, so that's what we'll do. You know, they're also great days for planning. Um, we've got a lot of planning that we need to do for the spring. Um, so that's really what we're gonna be doing for the next few days until this cold spell finally ends. Um, but I mean, we, it's not a bad thing. We're gonna be getting rid of a lot of the, the pests and the bugs with this cold weather. Um, you know, like I think we've, by the time it warms up next week, we'll have been in the teens and 20s for like two, two and a half weeks. Um, so hopefully that'll make a big impact on, on the pest control for this coming year. Uh, so that'll make our job a little bit easier. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm not a huge fan of snow, but it serves its purpose and it's pretty to look at occasionally. You know, I just, I'm not a big fan of the cold. I'd much rather be sweating in the garden in the heat of the summer. There's something about cooking your own food that is really great. It, it really pleases me. So what we've got, we've got some, we've got two eggs going here and I threw little bacon crumbles on there. Uh, we've got a little bit of garlic, Himalayan pink salt. Uh, it's got some spices in it. So we'll just, I really like pepper, some black pepper flakes. We've got some onion powder over here. Go ahead and dash it with a little bit of that. And then I'll touch it off on top with a little bit more salt. Should be ready to flip here. Yeah, that's, uh, it's so cool. Making food that you were responsible for producing. Uh, it's just really a great feeling. I can't, I can't really explain it. It's, it's just cool. This right here, folks, this is the secret. This is the secret right here. You gotta be gentle with it though, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I like spicy stuff, but you gotta, you gotta be real gentle. 